In 1971, Indira Gandhi, Prime Minister since 1966, and Raj Narain, a hero of the independence movement, contested an election for a seat in the People's House of Parliament, the Lok Sabha. Gandhi won, but Raj Narain alleged a wide range of fraud and other problems with the election. He sued in the Allahabad High Court, and after four years, that court declared that the election of Prime Minister Gandhi had been invalid. Prime Minister Gandhi then declared a state of emergency, which allowed the government to make a wide range of laws and use a wide range of powers without interference from other institutions. Then the Prime Minister and the government passed a new amendment to the Constitution of India, which would have had the effect of preventing the courts from reviewing the elections of the President, the Vice President, the Prime Minister or the Speaker of the Lok Sabha. The constitutional validity of that amendment was challenged in the Supreme Court. The court followed what is known as the Doctrine of Basic Structure, a doctrine recognised in many countries around the world, which holds that the Constitution established a particular type of government in this case a democratic republic, and that amendments to the constitution which would change that basic structure are invalid. The court found that by seeking to remove from the courts the capacity to review the lawfulness of elections, the Gandhi government was seeking to alter the basic structure of the constitution by moving power from the judiciary to the legislature, and this was not permitted. Chief Justice Ray said, The basic feature of separation of powers is changed by denying the jurisdiction of this court to test the validity of the election. The essential feature of democracy will be destroyed if power is conceded to Parliament to declare the elections void according to law under which it has been held to be valid. In such circumstances, the Parliament could, by law, declare the election of persons against the predominant ruling party to be void. If the majority party controls the legislature and the executive, the legislature could not have any say as to whether the executive was properly elected. Free and fair elections are part of democratic structure. This decision, which is often still cited, confirms the important role of an independent judiciary as a check and balance on the legislature and the executive. Mm -hmm.